Hi, wonderful people. This is Elegant Fashion Tutorial. I am Chas Peace. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a fitted gown with a down flay. And the measurement I'll be using for this tutorial is boss 37, waist 35 inches, hips 40 inches, half length 16, the length of the dress 60 inches, bust to bust 7 inches, bust point 12.5, upper bust 14.5, the half second half length I'll be using that's from the shoulder to up before the knee will be 36 inches, the shoulder 16, round sleeve 14, and the sleeve length of the dress is 10 inches. Okay, please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click to the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video. Now let's go to the cutting table. This is the dress we'll be making. You can see it has a double uh, flay at the downside. It has a half cut, then the second half length. We are the flay started. And the one we want to make here will have shoulder. This one is off shoulder. But this one will have a shoulder. Okay. Okay, this is the material I'm using for this tutorial. It's a Dutchess material, English material. The half length of the dress is 16. This is 16 plus one inch allowance. Then the shoulder is 16. 16 divided by two is eight plus half inch, making it eight and a half. Making it eight and a half inches. Then I'll be using armhole of eight and a half inches. Eight point five plus two inches for the chest of one two. This is one two. This is the chest line. Eight and a half. Just two inches for the chest line. Okay, now I will swear measure the eight and a half here. Then I'll join. Okay, now the post measurement is 37 inches. 37 divided by by 4 will give us 9.2 inches here yeah? plus 4.5 inches here. Yeah. Then here the waist measurement is 35 inches. 35 divided by 4 will give us 8.8. .8. Approximately 8.8 .8 inches. 
Then I'll be adding four inches here. Okay. One inch for the shoulder slant. The neck line. I'll be using four inches. Yeah. Then bust to bust is seven. Bust to bust is seven inches. Seven divided by two will give us 3.5 inches. Plus half inch allowance will give us four inches. Then I'll mark four inches. Four inches here. Four inches here. Now join it together. The neck for the front I'll be using five and a half inches. Now, the next thing is, the bust point is 12.5 inches, yeah? And the under bust is 14.5 inches, yeah. This is the bust point. Why this is on the bust line? Yeah. Okay. This is the bust point. Why this is the on the bust? Now in this part, I'm not going to. I'm not going to touch this, this line. I will only concentrate on the armhole side, which is a minus in two and a half inches here. To get the curve I want, from the half length, I'll be removing two inches. Now this is what, how the curve will look like. It will be like this. Straight here. Straight to this line. Then this two and a half I remove here. Remember initially I added 4.5 to it. Then I minus two and a half. So it will remain two inches, right? And this side will remain, this side I minus four inches. Sorry, this side I added four inches, then I took away two inches, it will remain two inches. So it's okay. I'll just add only one inch. supposed to be half inch but let's use one inch then here I'm having 7.5 here divided into two to be somewhere here which I'm going to take this point and join it to this point Yeah. 
I'll join it to this one. Then here, I'm going to carve it. So we have a curve here. It's not sharp, but a nice curve. Then, up here, I'll be adding two inches. If you watch our previous video, you understand why I said we'll be adding two inches here. It's very, very important. Now, let's cut the arm hole. Now let's cut. Now I will cut this up. Carefully cut it. Remember at this point you have to remove half inch here and half inch here. Half inch this side and half inch this side as well. I remove the half inch. Carefully remove the half inch. And I swear, carefully remove. Okay. Now, I will be cutting this off. Then the shoulder, the neckline as well. Okay. This is the front piece. I want to cut the back. 17 inches Seventeen inches, yeah Okay Shoulder Eight and a half Eight and a half here. The armhole, eight and a half. Two inches apart.
Okay, this line is for zip allowance. This line is for zip allowance. Then I'll be marking eight and a half for the shoulder. Then eight and a half for the armhole as well. And I'll join it together. The bust is 5.2 plus 2 inches allowance. Good. Then here is 8.8. Yeah. Plus 2 inches allowance. Yeah. Then I'll join it together. Okay, the neck I'll be using for I want it to have a curve at the back. So here I'll be putting a button here why there is a curve here. So I'm going to measure out three inches from this from this. This is one inch here. I will remove one inch here. Then I'll be measuring four inches and this is the shape then two inches wide yeah. so, something of this thing. To be having this shape. At the back. So here I measured two and a half inches. I remove one from here. Then this side from the one I removed, I measured four inches. Then I call it. Okay, then I measure out four inches here for the dart allowance. Four inches here, here. I'm using this for the half. Measure out two inches up. This will go down, sorry. This will go down to this point. This point. This will go down, down to this point. So now. Then connect it to this point here. Just remove half inch allowance up here. Half inch up here, half inch up here, down here, and half inch down here.
Okay. Then I'll open it. Okay. Now this is the back side. I'll be cutting off this. this off to the half inch here too And I'll be removing the half inch here. And the half inch the other side. Okay, okay guys. So this is the shape I mean after sewing it that's how this is how the back will look like it will have a button you can see to have a button here okay we are done with the the next thing is the second half length which is from the waist the total inches for the second half length is that's from the shoulder to the to let's say three inches up the nail I'm using is 36 now we have already cut the half length, which is 16 inches. The remaining parts will, will be 20 inches plus one inch seam allowance, making it 21 inches length. Show out the 21 inches. Okay, now. The second half length, which is from here down to two inches, let's say two inches up the knee. I'll be using 22 inches altogether. 22 here. Now here. This is my the waist line and I'll be I will measure from the waist here to the hips. I'll measure eight inches. Eight inches. I mean from here from the waist to the hips. Okay, now the waist is 8.8 .8 inches plus 2 inches here. Yeah? And the hips, 40 divided by 4 will give us 10. 10 inches plus 2 inches. Okay, this is this side, I removed 10 inches from the hips. 
which will give us 38 inches, divided into 4 will be 9.5, then plus 2 inches allowance. And I join Okay. Okay, we are done with this. Now I'll be cutting the flat parts. The measurement for the dress is 60 inches and we have already removed 36 out of 60. That 60 minus 36 will remain 24. The length of the flame will be 24 inches. The fabric is on fold. into four equal sides. This is 29 and a half and this is 29 and a half. Now, the measurement I'll be using is 38, 38 divided by four Then I'll measure. Okay, what I have here left is 23. So I'll measure 23 also.
to this point. And I put Okay. This is the picture of what then I will launch this edge to be joined on both sides. I want the sleeve to be something of this nature. It has a plinth and a, sm a small band holding it. So this is the shape I want it to look like. This is 17 inches. Then I will not be cutting anything. I will just divide it into two and shave out the arm bow for it. I will just shave out the arm bow. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Elegant Fashion Tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, click to the bell icon to be notified anytime I publish another video. Drop your comment at the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.